Tonight, a former Richland County School Resource Officer, Jamel Bradley, has been arrested on charges of having an inappropriate relationship with a student. News 19's Lauren Thomas has more on the arrest. Lauren. Yeah, Sheriff Leon Lott says in today's press conference that this that this arrest was one of the most difficult things they've had to do, arresting one of their own, former school resource officer Jamel Bradley. Uh, today we arrested Jamel Bradley. He's charged with criminal sexual conduct, third degree. 40-year-old Jamel Bradley is now being held in Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. Sheriff Lott says this is based off an incident that occurred with a 17-year-old student from Spring Valley High School in 2018 while Bradley was a school resource officer there. It did not happen at the school. It happened uh, away from campus. Uh, but he was in my uniform and he was in our patrol car. Bradley was hired with the Richland County Sheriff's Department in 2007, but was fired on October 30th. Sheriff Lott says this comes after he interfered with an internal investigation into him dealing with the federal lawsuit against him. Now that lawsuit included allegations of sexual assault against a 15-year-old female student while he was an SRO at Spring Valley High School. Now Sheriff Lott says today's arrest involves a different victim from the student who was mentioned in the federal lawsuit. He says that Bradley's actions violated the trust of the Sheriff's Department and the community. I, it's difficult to stand here and have to apologize to our victim, to our parents, and this community, but it's something that I have to do. Uh, it's my responsibility as Sheriff uh, to do that, so I do apologize. I'm sorry that we had someone that I, I call a sexual predator. Uh, and I've said in other press conferences when we've locked these people up that they're monsters. And unfortunately, we had a monster that worked among us uh, and that we did not know about. But we do now know, and he has been arrested. Now, Sheriff Lott hopes that this incident does not break the trust within the SRO program, but Bradley is scheduled for a bond hearing tomorrow at, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Lauren, did Sheriff Lott mention anything about the possibility of there being any other victims? He asked that if anyone has, uh, knows any other victims or if there are any other victims out there to come forward at this time, they don't know of any other victims, though, Darcy. Right. Lauren Thomas tonight, thank you so much.